Hi guys, welcome to a video and today I'm pretty excited to share this one because it's something that really changed the way that I played golf. So today's video is going to be a lot about tilting in the golf swing, which is something that I would find many golfers misunderstand what tilting is and what the role of tilting is in the golf swing. By the end of the video, you'll understand tilt, you'll understand how you can apply it and how you can monitor it in your golf game to know if you're tilting too much or too little. But really the benefits of tilt are so good in the golf swing, it can help create a lot of power, it can help control how you hit the ball and then the ground. It can really change the entire appearance of your golf swing. If you enjoy this video, if you learn from this video, please comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, but hopefully you'll just take something away from this video. Now getting into this video, it's quite personal to me because I spent a lot of time trying to do certain movements in my golf swing that I didn't understand. And I've always been somebody who's very cause and effect. I like to know what I'm doing. And if I do that, what the outcome will be. And one thing that I was always told is I need to turn in my backswing, which I, I understood. I read golf magazines and I, I hear everybody chat about how we should turn in the backswing. But I couldn't quite understand why my turn didn't look like my friend's turn. So I, I would look and I would say, okay, well, I know my shoulders are turning 90 degrees, but why do I seem to have my head in a really strange position compared to some of my junior friends back in the day? And if I go back to the early 2000s, very little was spoken about, or it was a very small field of instructors that really understood what was happening when a golfer did turn into the backswing. And that there are three movements that happen in that backswing when we look at turning, tilting, and extending that make up this backswing. And it isn't just purely turn in the backswing because turn is only one of those elements. So if I take a golfer who's bent forward and they just turn their shoulders 90 degrees, they'll have this appearance that they move off the ball and I, I was trying to keep my head still but trying to turn and at the same time I was also told to try and keep my knee flex and I was like why is this so hard for me am I just not a flexible guy really it's only until I was around Andy Plummer, Rob Cheney, work of Mac O'Grady introduced to me by a good friend Alex Swan who was introduced to that by James Ridyard that I started to understand wow there's a lot more to it than just turning and I remember getting really excited about this and just learning how to try and keep my head stable. And I went out there and I remember I was in Cyprus and I had old golf clubs and I was just hitting the ground. And I found it was so easy to hit the ground in the same spot, which is something I couldn't do. But anyway, today's video, we'll get into it. It's all about the purpose of tilt and how this tilt movement, some will call it side bending, making the left shoulder go down and the right shoulder go down, really influences the way that the head moves. So no longer do I want you to see the backswing as just a turning movement because we've got to understand there's a tilting and also an extending movement, but primarily today's video is about tilting, but a tilting movement that's very pivotal to us keeping this more stable backswing, which you see a lot more in the modern game now. So when we look at tilt, if we were to take the spine straight up and we were to allow that left shoulder to go down, that would be some of the side bending right side bend, left side bend that we get in the golf swing. If we think of the, the forward bend that we have in the golf setup where we push the back side back and we, we create this around 40 degree bend forward. Well, if I were to turn my shoulders 90 degrees to my spine, I would notice that my left shoulder goes down and that's what we're going to look at today, which is a shoulder tilt. Now, if I were stood up and let's say I'm perfectly aligned and my shoulders are 90 degrees to my spine, well, if I was stood here and I just turned, my shoulders would not change their inclination to the ground because I'm stood up. But now when I increase this forward bend, now if I turn on this inclination, my shoulder is going down. Now, that's quite important because if I were to bend forward and just turn, that's when my head starts to drift back. And this is something that I, I really feel that golfers need to understand that we not only need to turn, but we also need to tilt in the opposite direction of what we turn. So if we turn to the right, we tilt to the left. Turning to the right, tilting to the left. That'll allow us to manage how much we can move that head or how stable we manage to keep that head. So one of the first places to start when we look at how we tilt is to understand that our primary focus in this backswing regards to tilt is to make that left shoulder to go down. So we could start, we could take a golf club, we could put it against our shoulders and feel as we swing back, this left shoulder starts to point down towards the ground. Now, we're going to try and achieve about 90 degree of shoulder turn 
and we're going to try and achieve about 35 to 40 degrees of shoulder tilt. It'll change depending on the golf club you use. If you're using a driver, longer, you may be stood a little bit taller, that shoulder tilt's gonna be less. If you have a wedge bent forward a little bit more, you may find that tilts a little bit more. But as a general rule, it's going to be somewhere in that region of 35 to 40 degrees of left shoulder down. Now, you may not have a clever app that you can draw the lines on, or you may not use software, but what you could do is you could take your phone that you may be watching this video on right now, set up the camera and monitor your head movement. Now, if I as a golfer were to tilt too much as I go back, I might find that my head lowers and my head moves towards the target. Now, I also see this where a golfer starts to tilt too little, and in the backswing, their head starts to go back. And you can see the trajectory of this left shoulder. It would go down and then up, which we're not looking to achieve. If it was to go down and then up, my head would lift and my head would translate away from the target. That's going to compromise hitting the ball first and then hitting the ground. The further my head moves back, the bigger variation I'm going to create in hitting that ball first, ground second. Especially if I don't have the luxury of hitting 200 golf balls a day, like the guys out there on the Live or the PGA Tour. But if we can manage the amount that we tilt in an effort to keep our head more stable, contact gets better. But as an added bonus, we can create speed. So this left shoulder down to right shoulder down is a movement that creates speed in the golf swing. Now, if you imagine that I was doing this and I took my left shoulder up, you see how much more difficult it is to create that turning on a tilted angle and that can heavily impact your speed. I don't think it's by chance that the best golfers in the world tilt more and hit the ball longer, and the poorest golfers that I see day to day would have the least amount of tilt and the least amount of distance. So tilt is a very big factor in creating speed in your golf swing, and tilt is also one of the vertical elements in creating speed in the golf swing too. So we have an inward force, we have a vertical force, and the more that the left shoulder goes down in the backswing, the longer we propel this golf club, and that is one of the vertical pieces to creating club head speed. So drill, we've all seen this one. Go grab yourself a wall, put your head on the wall, and then practice turning the shoulders to about 80 degrees. The only reason I say 80 degrees and not 90 is because when we're doing it static, it's going to be a lot more difficult to create a fuller turn than if we were doing this with a little bit more speed in the backswing and the weight of a golf club there too. So we'll put the head on the wall. We're going to try and achieve 80 degree of shoulder turn. And we're also going to try and get that left shoulder to work down underneath our chin, like this. So set up position. Now one thing that makes this much easier for you is when we create the forward bend at address, we create that bend by pushing the hips back and not by arching the upper back. Now the reason for this is what helps us create tilt is as we turn back, the left knee bends a little bit, the right leg straightens a little bit, and this creates a bit of tilt in the hips, which makes it much easier for us to get that shoulder tilt. Now, if I were to push my pelvis up and try and create the tilt now, I'm going to find it a lot more difficult. Try this for yourself at home. So take this, what I'm telling you, go to the range and practice this key drill that was one of the biggest drills that I worked on when trying to improve my golf swing, and it was a feeling of no turn, just tilt. So I would go to the backswing and I would never feel like I'm turning. I'd feel like I'm purely just making that left shoulder go down and tilting to the top. So take your address position, left shoulder down, three words, left shoulder down, that can help you play better golf. If you're left-handed, right shoulder down, but in the backswing, left shoulder down. As always, start with very gentle shots, no need to apply power, and then get firmer as you get more used to this movement. Left shoulder down. What are you looking for? You're monitoring your head movement, and we don't want to see that head moving backwards, moving forwards. If you start to see the head drifting back, it's very likely the left shoulder has not gone down enough. As could happen, you see this drill, you think, hey, Mike's onto something really good here, and you go out there and you're like, oh, shoulder's gonna go down a lot. You start to get your head down, you get it forward towards the target, it becomes very hard to hit that ball up in the air. But the left shoulder going down in such a way to monitor the head position, I think then can be replaced in the downswing by right tilt, which comes from the hips moving forward and the head remaining stable. 
And that's just a recipe for hitting that ball very high, very long, with a low point ahead of the ball. Now go away, go to the practice area before you go to the golf course and test this one out. Left shoulder down. Do the plane drill. Take your left hand on the golf club, put your right hand just on the side of the golf club, pull it behind you, feel that left shoulder starting to work down. All of this is going to make you a better golfer. Thanks very much guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you've taken something away from this video. Please take it to the range and if you have any questions on this particular move, drop it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help.